Gallagher Iba Arena here with Bo Nickel. Big pin tonight over Boyd of Oklahoma State. Want to start with Bo? You're familiar with these kind of environments, but this place today, over 14,000 people. What was it like for you being a wrestling guy to wrestle in this historic venue? No, it was awesome. I mean, the fans are rocking and it was super loud, and uh, you can just tell they're super knowledgeable on the sport, so it's awesome to get to compete in front of them and in this type of environment. So I was just like, excited to get out there and do what I love. I'm sure I've asked you this a million times. I'm going to ask you again. Again, just walk us through your pregame mindset. You got any rituals, habits? Um, yeah, I guess I, I kind of do the same warm up every time, just you know, bounce back and forth a little bit and you know, uh, pray to God just uh, for my health and my opponent's health so uh, that nobody will get injured and um, you know, just get ready to wrestle, do maybe like a, a squat jump or something like that, and that's about it. So. You've had quite the year. You go to Carver Hawkeye, you quiet that place down with the splatal heard around the world. Here's a quick cradle on Blo uh, Boyd. You slap that thing and you get the pin. Describe, if you can, the emotions of those moments. Uh, I don't know. I, it was just exciting, you know, to get out there and uh, get the quick pin. You know, most exciting for me because of uh, the situation in the duel, and I was able to score some points for my team and kind of uh, give us a little bit of the advantage right there as far as the team score goes. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what I tried to go do out there, just go score points, get pins, get bonus points, stuff like that. So it was an awesome experience. 184 pounds. Let's first talk about the Big Tens. Sammy Brooks. TJ Dudley from Nebraska, yourself, and probably missing a couple of guys, but just speak about what you'll be focusing on uh, come Indiana in a few weeks. Right, just uh, you know, staying consistent, moving forward, and uh, just focusing on my effort and wrestling, and trying to wrestle to the best of my ability each and every time that uh, I have the opportunity to step on the mat. So just grateful for uh, the opportunity to get to go out there and wrestle, and I'm excited to uh, wrestle at the Big Ten. I want to go back to last March. What was it like leaving New York City? You know, what has that done to you? Give you a hug Thanks. from your dad. <laughs> See ya. See ya. You know, what, what's, it, what's it been like? You know, what do you remember from leaving the arena that night and how that's fueled you all year long? Yeah, that was definitely tough. Um, it just, you know, it was something I worked really hard for and uh, didn't quite uh, achieve, so. I want to give the best There you go. <laughs> Thanks. Good to see you. Love you, too. Um, you know, it was, it was tough uh, having to go a, a whole year now without a... Just having to deal with that, and because uh, obviously, I mean, second place sucks. So, just excited to uh, move forward, and definitely gave me a lot of motivation to uh, work hard and uh, keep training. So, I'm excited that we get to go at it again here in a couple weeks, I guess. Great support system for you, both at Penn State and your family as well. You know, what have they meant to you? Uh, you know, family is uh, is everything to me. I mean, I definitely wouldn't be here without without my family and uh, you know I, I really feel like my, my team at Penn State is my family now same with the coaching staff and uh, everybody involved so it's just exciting to have those close relationships with those people and be able to build those bonds that you know they're gonna last for, for a lifetime so I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing experience. You guys are great with the fans I see you taking a million pictures signing autographs all that good stuff what's the coolest thing about being high-flying bow nickel? Um, I don't know. I mean, I just love the fact that I get the opportunity every day to uh, go out and wrestle and uh, just glorify God. And uh, because I mean, I really feel that He is the um, only reason that I have these abilities that I have. So I'm just super grateful that God blessed me with that opportunity. And I really feel that He gave me a platform with wrestling to share Him with everybody that I come in contact with. Big win today! Congratulations to you and your team, and I uh, will see you in Bloomington at the Big Tens. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.